Tropical Storm Fay has made landfall near Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm Mike Naso with this Friday afternoon update on Fay. It's July 10th, 2020. It was 15 years ago today in 2005 that Hurricane Dennis slammed ashore in the Florida Panhandle as a rare July major hurricane. Of course, 2005 was the most active season in recorded history. Hopefully we don't see that again uh, for a long, long time. Although this season is going to be busy, as we've already seen and as we see today with Faye. You can see uh, the tropical storm force winds are impacting areas of New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island even. You guys are next. And the center is uh, not what's important here. What's important is that the uh, winds extend to the right of the circulation, and that's why those areas are being buffeted with gusty winds right now. Again, the track is pretty straightforward. It's moving north. It's going to cut through New Jersey and then right into upstate New York and then on into Canada, and then we'll be done with Fay. But again, uh, interesting, a, a New England tropical cyclone for July. So uh, we're going to see how that plays out for the rest of the year. Taking a look at the satellite imagery of Tropical Storm Fay right now, you can see just a beautiful circulation. I mean, it doesn't look as tropical as it did earlier, but there's the center making landfall about 10 miles north of Atlantic City. So it was uh, not directly over, but again, that's a moot point. A lot of the gusty winds here are on the right side. Look at the cloud shield fanning all the way into areas of uh, the middle of Pennsylvania. And then it's leaving behind thunderstorms here in the western Atlantic. You always got to watch to see if something wraps up and develops from uh, that. But right now we don't see any indication of that at all. Here's the radar and you can see uh, the center of Fay coming ashore here in New Jersey. A lot of the rainfall here over western uh, New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania. You guys are getting drenched right now. Some good storms moving here through the Ohio Valley into Pennsylvania. And that's going to... Uh, all kind of interact here with just summertime heating with uh, these storms over here and then a landfalling tropical storm over New Jersey. I mean, this year is uh, something to really scratch your head at. You can see Long Island, you're getting in on some of the rain as well as areas over here, Cape Cod, rainfall as well. So definitely if you were going to be outside and enjoy the weather, Faye's going to ruin that uh, today. Here's another look at the visible. You can see the center of circulation right there, crossing the coast, making landfall areas like uh, Atlantic City, Brigantine, right where uh, the eye is crossing, the uh, center, not the eye, it's not a hurricane, is uh, crossing the coast. And again, there's that beautiful cloud deck going into Pennsylvania, and you can see the clouds flaring up here as uh, this system moves through the Midwest and creates some thunderstorms in association with that very muggy 90-degree weather we've been having over areas of the Midwest and the eastern seaboard. So Fay, uh, gusty winds, heavy rainfall for areas of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, moving on into New York and Connecticut tonight. Definitely uh, going to be uh, a night to stay indoors and uh, not enjoy the outside at all. In the uh, eastern Pacific, you can see we have Christina, which has a nice little donut eye there, but it never quite achieved hurricane strength. Still 70 miles an hour is going to continue to move out and weaken. This wave that we watched go through Honduras and Nicaragua is now in the Pacific, and it's spinning, and this is almost certainly going to become a tropical cyclone as it also moves towards the west or the west-northwest. And the next name on the Pacific list is uh, Douglas. So it looks like this could become Douglas in the next couple of days. Christine and Douglas, and we're also watching Faye, of course, making landfall near Atlantic City today. I'm Mike Naso with the latest on the tropics. I'll see you guys next time.